So here we're going to see how to run a multiple regression, do predictions with multiple regressions, and do a stepwise regression using the Compass Maritime Services data set. There are 48 ships. We know the sale date, the name of the ship, the price at last sale, the year it was built, age, size, trailing cape, uh, size index. What I've already done in this data set is take the natural logs of age, size, and cape size index, squared the age, squared dead weight tons, and squared the index. Supposing you want to now run a regression of the price of the ship onto these independent variables age, size, index, log age, log size, log cape size index, age squared, dead weight tons, and sorry. 8 squared, dead weight tons squared, and index squared. But you also want, let's say, want to have a prediction. Well, let's get ready for the prediction part first. S following the same procedure as in a simple regressions predictions, you take this data set, copy the labels, go to, let's say, a brand new worksheet, and you now paste them. So looking forward, let's say you want to predict the price of the better performer. Uh, so now we know that it's called the bed performer, not that it matters, but we should put that number here. Ultimately what we'll want is the predicted price, so we'll leave the cell blank. The year was built, I seem to remember it was built in 1997. Uh, it doesn't matter what the age was, at, actually it does matter what the age was at sale, I believe it was 11, it's now 11 years old, I think. Deadweight tons was 7172, and I believe the current trail size uh, keeps us in is 12479. If you're going to do predictions, we should do log of age, fill that number in, log of size, log of index, do age squared. deadweight ton squared and index squared. So what's going to happen now is when I run the regression I will tell Excel to use this data set as the prediction data set. So let's name this a prediction data set. Go to Stat Tools, Data Set Manager and let's call this prediction. And I'm going to ask Excel to run a regression and then spit out the predictor price for a ship that was built in 1997, 11 years old at sale, etc, etc. So let's go back and see how you do this. Regressions, bring it up. The dependent variable, the y variable is price, and the independent variables right now are, well, age at sale, dead weight tons, trailing it keeps us index, log age, log size, log index, age squared, dead weight tons squared, index squared. And we want to now check this box that says include prediction data set. And we're asking you to use the data set in predictions. 95% confidence. Say OK. As usual, I'll ask you for all kinds of error messages. Ignore them. Ignore, ignore, ignore. It runs the regression. Uh, notice that these are the intercepts, the intercept coefficients. These are the T values. You already know how to interpret those. If you go back to the initial prediction data set, it says the predicted price would be $110 million, uh, roughly. Now, let's see how you do stepwise regressions. The idea behind stepwise regressions is I have many variables over here. Uh, perhaps I can run the best regression that excludes the irrelevant variables and includes the relevant variables. I go to regressions go to stepwise and do the exact same thing. So it's saying to Excel regress price on all these possible independent variables that you see over here but pick and choose the ones that are relevant and irrelevant. And once again if you want we can leave the prediction data here because we want to know the predicted price of ship with the new regression. Sit OK. As usual you probably get errors. After all Excel and errors go together. And here's the answer. If you let Excel choose the best model, the one will be the price of the ship is equal to a constant, the trailing index, age at sale, and then of course you have log of size. And then you will notice that if you go back here, it gives you a brand new price of the ship, which is $126 million and roughly uh, for the ship.